von Wakashi ab I Even Go To Kan. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage, I have reviewed almost 500 indie movies on the channel and I was fortunate to see the world premiere of Anuda Kashyap's newest Neo Noir Crime Drama Kennedy at this year's Cannes Film Festival. First of all, I have to say that Anuda Kashyap has been a very important voice in our exploration of Indian cinema. We have reviewed his epic five and a half hour long Gangs of Wasipur, his disturbing Ugly, which I think is my favorite of his. We have watched and reviewed the brutal Raman Raghav 2.0, the anthology film Lust Stories and many other films where he was either involved as a writer or producer. I haven't really followed his career lately, but I was certainly looking forward to Kennedy as it seemed to be totally in his wheelhouse. Kennedy tells the story of an ex or undercover policeman who has been presumed dead and who is now doing the dirty work for the corrupt police commissioner, which is basically going around and killing a lot of people. At the same time, he's looking for a mysterious man who is responsible for a tragic event in his life. The whole movie is set in the big city and mostly takes place at night. I was hoping for a gritty and dense neo-noir, but honestly, I think the movie is pretty bad. First a positive though, there are a few songs playing out in this nightclub setting with some cool rap-like style that give the movie at least something fresh and out of the box. The actual background score, which has this classical music touch, is different as well, but also adds to the film's self-indulgent, overly heavy style. In just two words, I would describe this film as bleak and boring. The story about ex-cop or undercover cop Kennedy, played by Rahul Bhatt, wants to be this dark, tragic tale about loss and redemption, but the character is really so unlikable and for me beyond any point of return that I really didn't get anything from it or from the performance. Now, a character of course doesn't have to be someone good or even likable. Especially in a noir movie, we are confronted with problematic characters. Just think Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver or the psychopath Ramana in Kashyap's own film Raman Raghav 2.0. But characters still need to be interesting and the film should somewhat be clear about what kind of character it wants to portray. But this guy is really a total psychopath and then also someone who has a bigger goal in mind which doesn't really come together. The end doesn't justify the means at all here. The murders he commits are so bad that you don't see any kind of moral compass. His backstory also feels so cliche. The typical stuff that someone innocent close to him got killed. And another fairly familiar trope is that he's seeing some of the people that he has killed in the past. One of them even talking to him on a regular basis. And it's not really a spoiler because what they're going for is very obvious from the get-go. Unfortunately though, it comes across as a cheap attempt to make us see that he does indeed suffer from some guilt. But it doesn't work when he's also throwing off some handicapped person from a balcony. And it also doesn't help that there's really no chemistry between him and that ghost from the past. I also felt that the movie is really lacking energy throughout. Rahul Bhatt plays Kennedy, like you have seen before, in countless movies. And it's not so much his fault, but more the choice Kashyap has made. The movie begins with his voiceover narration and it's that typical, super exaggerated deep voice that brooding men like him apparently must have. The performance is very one note too and it's not really exciting to watch. There's a little bit more panache to the character in a flashback, but what we are shown there only makes him more repulsive. Which again could be fine, but doesn't sit well with this overarching redemption arc. I really didn't care for the character or his tragic story. The atmosphere and violence are just very dreary and not fun, but also not really impactful or voicing any kind of sophisticated meaning either apart from the usual all too familiar corruption theme. There's a little bit of locked on frustration in there as well, but it doesn't amount to much. In a supporting role we see Sunny Leone as Charlie, but the character comes in and out of the movie in a rather sloppy way and honestly I have already a hard time even remembering what her deal was all about. It certainly doesn't help that Sunny Leone isn't particularly good in it, which again I'm more blaming the direction. What stays in mind is her awkward, hysterical laughter. In the end, there isn't really much to Kennedy. Kashyap tries to add some tension to this tired narrative by counting down the nights until the night, but when we finally arrive there after almost two and a half hours, 
it's rather lackluster. But at that point, I have been checked out of the movie for a long time anyway. So in German I'd say, Anula Kashyap's neues Neo-Noir-Drama wirkt unambitioniert, kraftlos und müde. I give Kennedy 4 out of 10. It's more like 4.1. But I don't do that. <laughs> Alright, that's it like always. Comment below and let me know what you think about Kennedy. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd and also on Patreon, simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.